Hey, I'm Roy Aaron Gammons, and today I'm going to be answering the question, when would I want to use continuous light, and when would I want to use flash? Continuous light provides a lot of advantages over flash, and it allows me to preview the shot ahead of time. With a flash, I don't know what I'm going to get until after I've taken that photograph. Because it's a continuous light and the light is always on, it also allows me to get the focus on my subject, to set the exposure properly on my camera, and to fundamentally have more time to compose the shot, compose my model, and compose exactly how I want the lighting to fall. There are other advantages too. Because the light is always on, what you'll often find is the subject has more time to get used to the light. So as a result, it eliminates things like blink and red eye responses. If you're photographing things like wildlife or children, often a flash can be quite startling to them, and continuous light has a lot of advantages. However, there are some situations where you find you just need that bit more power. Having the ability with the Rotolite EOS to enter a high-speed sync strobe mode where the light is an entire stop brighter is a real advantage if you were shooting outdoors in daylight, for example, or if you wanted to freeze frame action. Having all of that in one product, both the continuous light and the high-speed sync strobe, makes EOS completely unique and will add a lot of versatility to your shoot. In terms of recommended settings for your EOS in flash mode, the first thing I would say is with regards to the EOS, you can change the flash duration, but in reality it's not necessary. You can leave your flash duration set to a 50th of a second, and any shutter speed faster than that, for example a 100th or a 250th or a 1000th of a second, will automatically be captured because it's shorter than the flash duration. In terms of flash power settings, I would simply recommend leaving the EOS set to max flash power and simply adjusting the distance to your subject. Finally, with regards to colour temperature, the EOS being a bicolour light is brightest at 4200 Kelvin. So for the maximum flash output, set the light to 4200 Kelvin in flash mode. And to do that, simply click and hold the left hand knob when inside flash mode and set it to the desired colour.